Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna to be checking out a smart video doorbell that has a function of being a security camera while also being a doorbell. So this will work great for the front door or any side entrance where you want a camera, but also a way for someone to ring in. And not only that, you could also talk to them back and forth through the speaker option. So this doorbell is made by a company called HemVision, the model number. So this is the box it comes in, pretty nice box. Here's all the features. Wi-Fi, battery operated, use the functions through your phone on an app, comes with a chime for the bell sounds, voice message, and device sharing. So on the other side, we have a few more things, day night vision, two-way audio, human detection, so having a camera that understands humans compared to other things just moving trees or something is invaluable. So we'll see how well it does. Instant notifications. We got two options of storage, local and cloud, and it is IP65 waterproof, so you can leave it outdoors in the elements. All right, so let's open it up. So the top face just slides off, and this is what we're greeted with. So right on the top, we have a packet our user manual, how to contact the company, and a sticker that says warning and the property is protected by surveillance. All right, so here we see all the pieces. We got the camera itself, and this thing feels really hefty. So it does look like it's in a mount bracket, and it does pop right off. And it does appear that we do have like a hardwire connection if we wanted to do that. That's cool. So this design here definitely looks more commercial or professional, I guess. So let's take a closer look here. On the top, we have the lens element. There is a plastic protective. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off. And then below that, we have the motion sensor. Here it looks like is the speaker. And down here, this whole thing is a button. So you actually push. I don't know if you guys can see that little gap there, but this is all a big button. So this is what you would push to ring the doorbell. And there appears to be a little light here that glows. So going to the right side, we have a mic on the bottom. And on the other side, it's clean, nothing here. On the very bottom, we have a port. And under there, we see a micro USB port with also a little reset button here to the right. And this is our back here. So it does say in here, five volts, 1.2 amps. And we have a couple screws and I'm guessing batteries back there. So we're gonna open this up in a second. Let's go ahead and see what else we have. So we have the door chime itself. Now this thing is fully battery operated. So we can see it needs three AA batteries. So the cool thing about being battery operated is you can stick this pretty much anywhere you want. But it does have a micro USB port so you can connect it to a power source like that. And we do have some functions buttons up here. So we do actually get batteries, three of them. And I'm guessing that for this. And there's also a box of all the hardware tools and wires and other things so we do get a micro usb cable two of these reset pins some permanent mounting hardware we also get some double-sided tape two pieces and this interesting looking thing wiring and twisties to permanently connect and some tools all right so the first thing i want to do is open up this tray here it does say remove here to pull it but let's go ahead and see what's back there it feels quite heavy so i think there's probably already a battery installed Okay, so yeah, there are a couple batteries and they're quite large and I guess they want us to pull this so the connection is made there. So I guess let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so this thing actually made a sound and there's a light glowing down here. I'm going to go ahead and pull them out. Okay, and they are together as one piece. So yeah, this is a major battery capacity here and that's where most of the weight was coming from. So under here we can see where the battery goes, but if we look right over there, see there's a little slot there, that's where our micro SD card goes. So there's not one included, so you'll have to put one in if you want to record internally. So you can use just the cloud option. So I do have a 32 gig card, but this thing does take up to 128. Yeah, just like that and it's in there. Now we can put our batteries back in. And it powers back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this lid back on with the two bolts. So with those big batteries, this thing should really last a long time. So let's go ahead and put the batteries in the ringer. And I really like how they included everything you need, even these AA batteries. All right, so this first button here looks like that's probably the power button. So it does work and it's paired looks like. So every time you push this, quite loud and we can adjust that on the middle button so it looks like it has four volumes this is the lowest so it is quite powerful and you will definitely hear it and then our last button here changes the sounds so you don't have much choices but you do have the more normal ones and then some music playing ones all right cool 
And so the doorbell itself, it has rechargeable batteries. Before you install it, you wanna go ahead and charge the batteries through this port and get them topped off. So I'm gonna grab the cord and we're gonna plug it in. You can see there's a little red light there right beside it that's indicating charge. So we do have a pretty nice instruction manual that kind of explains what everything does and what everything is. So for the next part, let's go ahead and download the app. So we're gonna be using Android. And so the app is called Heme Life. That's what it looks like. So let's go ahead and install it. All right, so it's installed. Let's open it, allow all the access. Here you're gonna to have to sign in. So you can do that with your phone number or email. So because I had an account from before, I went ahead and just logged in, but it's a pretty simple process. You'll get to the screen where you need to add a device. So you'll just click on add device. So we're just gonna click up here. Here we can see it says doorbell or battery camera, or I guess we're gonna click on Please doorbell. Power on the device. So it's asking us to power it on, power it on already. So we're gonna click next. Press the bell button and tap next. So I already did that. So once you do push the bell button, you can see it's flashing red and that's what they want. Please reset the device by holding the reset button. So we're gonna grab a pin that was included. Now I think this is already reset, but let's just go ahead and do it. Hold it for five seconds. All right, so it sounds like you reset. So let's click next. Select the Wi-Fi network. Okay, so for next part, you're gonna choose the Wi-Fi in your home and you gotta make sure it's the 2.4, not the 5G. Pulling mine up right away because my phone is already connected to it. And then you're gonna need to enter the Wi-Fi password. Then we're gonna click next or done. So for the next part, we're gonna get the camera to read this QR code. It's on the phone. So we're just gonna point them at each other. And there it goes, looks like you read it. Then we're gonna tap here that we heard the tone. Connecting. So it's connecting. Okay, so it's blue already, so it connected really quick. The device found, and we're done. Okay, well that was quite simple. So here on the bottom we can see my other camera, and then on the top is this new one here, the doorbell, and the icon here kind of shows us what they look like. So let's go ahead and click on that, and we should be able to see a live video. But yeah, we can see the video. Let's see if I can point it at this plant here. Showing up right there on our phone, so we are connected. We can change the quality between SD and HD, so we can see a clear image. So I got HD now, and it's definitely a lot clearer. So if you wanna see a clearer preview, you change it to HD. All right, so we connected and everything looks good. I think for the next part, let's go ahead and install the doorbell where it needs to go, and then we'll check out all the features of the app. All right guys, so what you're looking at is the front door, and I decided to put it here on the door frame with the double-sided tape that was included with it. Now that seems like a pretty darn good place for it. Putting the camera on is very simple. Click up in there, and then the bottom just slides into it. And down here, we're gonna put a permanent bolt so this thing doesn't slide out on its own. But yeah, and that's how it looks like. So it's about eye level on the camera, and it's really easy to see. It does say push right here. And then one of the cool things about this camera is that when you do push this, it acts actually like a video doorbell, so it'll prompt you on your phone that you have a visitor and this is what it looks like so you can answer the call and there we go we can see what it's looking at so yeah this could be very useful and I'm talking to it right now and you can hear it but there's a little bit of feedback if I'm talking, if I'm talking to, the phone, to the phone it's actually, it's actually really, really loud, loud. Uh, quite, clear, quite actually. clear actually so let's take a closer look at the app so on the top here we have some dots and this is where we're going to adjust a lot of our settings so here we have receive alert notifications yes device share so if you want to share this device with someone else so they can use it device information basic function let's see what this is okay so speaker volume so you can adjust that to be louder or quieter outside so i guess we'll just leave it at that owner leaves message so you can actually pre-record a message that you can send if someone rings a doorbell and you're not around they can hear the message so that's really cool so here we can control the, the wireless chime. So here's the selection of the kind from low, medium, and high. So I'm gonna put it on low. Okay, so it updated. So we can't control it here from the app. And power management. So here's our battery powered and the remaining battery 71%. So I haven't charged it all the way, but I will after I'm done with this. All right, so for the important part, we have motion detection and it's not on. So let's go ahead and turn that on. And here we can see what kind of detection we want and when. So we got low and high. I'm gonna leave it on low since it mostly needs to detect when somebody's at the door. And here we have the human detection alert. So we definitely wanna keep that on because without the human detection, it could alert us on a bunch of random stuff like and bugs and stuff like that. So, or even moving trees. But you can play around with these settings and see what works best for your environment. And down here we have alert plan. And here you can add a time of when you want it to be on. So here we have the SD card. So we did install one. We can see it says right there, 30 gig. So it's gonna record 20 second clips. So let's change that to 40. And if you do need to format it, you can do that right here. Actually, let's go ahead and do that just in case. 
So it's nice and fresh and ready to go. All right, so that's done. And also you have the option of having cloud storage. So you can try it for free for seven days or purchase the services from Heme Vision. And then we have the version here of our device. So yeah, pretty straightforward everything. So back here on the main view. So if we tap the screen, we can see a couple options come up. We have the speaker. So right now we can hear what's going on outside. Here we can choose between HD and SD. And here we have the full screen button. And you can also zoom into you know anything you want and pan around so if you want to zoom in a bit look around you can and while you're in full screen you do have the video picture microphone and speaker options and also the video quality so let's go back to normal mode so in normal mode we're in live right now you can see and in live mode we can take a screenshot so if i click that it takes a screenshot of what it sees you can talk so if somebody's out there you can talk to them and then here we can record a video everything we do here will save it to our device on the phone so if you want to capture something in the heat of the moment you can and then we have our motion detection here on and off button. So it's like a hot button, so it's off now and it's on. So the next tab we have is called history. And this is everything that's been recorded on our SD card. And we can choose to view that through calendar, screenshots, or alerts. So there's no messages right now. And you can also screenshot and record here. And then the last tab is our cloud. So if you want to use the cloud, and you will get seven days free if you want to try it out. But yeah, it's pretty straightforward and actually quite easy to use. So let's go ahead and try the motion detection and see how that works. I'm going to go ahead and close the app and turn off my phone. And then I'm just going to walk out of here right in front of the camera. And it should see me. And sure enough, we got a notification. And it says we received an alert. Let's click on it. And there we can see all the alerts, me in front of the camera. So... And to see the notifications, we just click on history and alert. And then here we can see we have a motion detection. It actually shows human. So it recognizes me as being a human. And if we click on that, it's going to show us a little preview of where I walked into the camera. So yeah, it works very well and documents everything at the time and puts it in the timeline. All right, so I'm going to get Marcus to push the doorbell. So I got the doorbell over here and we can see that it beeps. And my phone is actually says there you have a visitor. So I'm going to click on that. And here we can see we can answer the call. So I'm going to answer it. And there we can see Marcus. He's kind of a little short for the camera, I guess. But so yeah, guys, looks like it works pretty good. And here we have the option of muting ourselves and then muting him and then ending the call. So let's go ahead and end that. And that's how you do the intercom call. So whenever somebody actually pushes that button to ring the doorbell, not only will it ring the bell, but it'll also notify you and say there's a visitor. So yeah, the doorbell itself has a lot of options and they seem to be working quite well. All right, so it's later in the day and it's dark outside. And I went ahead and put that little bolt in there. So this thing is nice and solid, not gonna come out. So let's go ahead and check out what it looks like at night. And this is with the lights on. So if I turn the lights off, it switches the IR mode and now we can see in the dark. So it does have night vision. So if we click on the settings on these dots, here I forgot to mention that you can rename your device. So I named it front door. So it's not just a random number. And also if you wanted to hardwire this thing, it does have the option in the back, a doorbell wiring from 12 to 24 volts. Now I'm not sure exactly how that's gonna work, if it's gonna power this whole thing or it's just for the ring itself, but you can hardwire this thing. And one of the best things about the security camera part is that it does have human detection, so it doesn't alert you unless it actually sees a human. So and that works great, and I don't think I would choose any other way because if it was normal, it would constantly be alerting you of random things, and that gets quite annoying. So this thing does really good with that. And also, I really like the design. It's very modern and clean looking. Definitely looks quite unique and I guess more high end, I would say. So yeah, guys, overall, this thing is great. And if you were looking for a doorbell that's also a security camera, this is a great option if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a more expensive neighbor. Seems to do everything that those do. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, then hit that like button. If you want to pick up a camera for yourself, I'm going to have some links in the description. So check that out. And if you enjoyed videos like this and you want to see more, stay tuned. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.